Under the moonlight's glow, an elegant woman begins to dance. So beautiful is what we see, graceful and delicate with the breeze. It's so captivating for us to enjoy. All that they present, contains profound meanings within. They convey many messages. Let's try to understand and reflect upon them. Culture is a human creation that encompasses art, customs, beliefs, and knowledge. Generally, most people define culture as the artistic and customary practices specific to a certain region. One form of culture that we often see is dance, which is presented through beautiful movements and often conveys a specific message to the viewers. One of the arts found in Chiriborn, Indonesia, is a dance called Tari Sintren. This dance is a distinctive form of art from the Chiriborn region. The Tari Sintren dance itself contains magical elements, which means it should not be treated as a mere amusement. The Tari Sintren dance is usually performed by a woman wearing a special costume and sunglasses. Before performing this dance, the dancer usually enters a closed cage covered with fabric. The Tari Sintren dance is a traditional dance from Chiriborn that incorporates magical elements. The name Sintren in this dance is a combination of two words, Si and Tren. In the Javanese language, C is an expression used to refer to someone, while Tren is derived from the word Putri, meaning princess or dancer. Therefore, Sintren means the princess or the dancer. Some also interpret the origin of the name Sintren as a combination of Indonesian words namely Sindir, meaning to satirize or mock, and Tetran, meaning to question through poetic verses that require thoughtful answers. This implies that the dance includes satirical elements conveyed through poems or verses. Initially, before the formation of the current structure of Sintren as a dance with a woman in the center, the early beginnings of this art were believed to involve gatherings of young men who shared stories and encouraged each other, particularly after the major defeat in the Great Chiriborn War, which ended around 1818. In the oral tradition of the Indramayu community, the name Secha Branti is known, believed to be the servant of Prince Deponegoro, who managed to escape from the Dutch after the defeat of the Deponegoro War, 
which ended in 1830. It is said that Secha Branti fled to the Indramayu region and socialized with the young men, enjoying reciting poems of struggle. During the harvest season when the young men gathered, Secha Branti joined them and sang his poems of struggle. However, the activity of singing these poems was later discovered by the Dutch colonizers and subsequently banned. In addition to the stories of the Cheriborn youth struggle through uplifting verses in the performance of Sintren, the art of Sintren in Cheriborn also features lyrics of romantic legends between Selassie and Sulandana which are popular among the Javanese community. This is due to Chiriborn's proximity to the Javanese cultural land, resulting in a high level of social interaction between the Chiriborn and Javanese communities. To become a Sintren dancer, one must be in a state of purity and cleanliness. Before performing, the dancer must observe fasting and strive to avoid committing sins. This is done to ensure that spirits do not encounter difficulties in entering the dancer's body. Like other arts in Chiriborn, Sintren was also used by religious leaders to spread Islamic teachings and values in daily life. In Sintren performances in the Chiriborn region, the unconscious Sintren dancer who starts dancing, when money is thrown, regardless of the amount, will cause the dancer to fall and be unable to stand until the Sintren puppeteer revives them. According to Kimamat, a Sintren puppeteer from Seka Pandan Dance Studio in the Kachraborn Sultanate, the Islamic teachings conveyed through Sintren performances include Rangap or chicken cage, which refers to the curved shape of a chicken cage in Indonesia. It serves as a reminder to the audience that the curved shape represents the phases of human life, where humans start from the bottom and strive to reach the peak. However, once they reach the peak, humans return to the bottom, from dust to dust, born weak and returning to weakness. Do it, or money. Do it in Indonesian is meaning money symbolized by the throne money that causes the Sintren dancer to immediately collapse. It signifies that in human life, one should not always prioritize materialism. Being too greedy for material possessions will lead to one's downfall. The dance art form, Sintren, was originally performed during quiet moments on full moon nights, because this dance is related to spirits entering the dancer. However, 
Nowadays Sintren dance performances are no longer limited to full moon nights and can also be performed during the day. The purpose has shifted to entertaining tourists and enlivening festive events. Before discussing the cultural aspects, it should be noted that the performers in the Sintren dance consist of a Sintren, or Ronging, accompanied by four Chan trick, or supporting dancers. Both Sintren and Ronging roles cannot be played by just anyone, as there are specific requirements and conditions to become a candidate dancer. The main requirement is that the dancer must be a pure virgin, as the spirit cannot enter the dancer's body if this condition is not fulfilled. The selected dancer will observe a three-day fasting ritual before the Sintren performance. This is done to ensure the dancer's purity, not only physically, but also spiritually, as one of the purposes of fasting is to protect someone from sinful acts and immorality. When the dancer is pure both in body and spirit, the ancestral spirits can more easily enter the body of the Sintren. In addition to the dancers, there is also a Dalang, or Sintren shaman in the Sintren dance performance, who plays the role of summoning the ancestral spirits. At the beginning of the performance, there is a procession called Dupan. Dupan is a prayer ritual conducted to keep the Sintren performance safe from harm. The Sintren shaman will pray while holding the head of the candidate dancer with the right hand, while the left hand holds the candidate dancer's shoulder. The candidate dancer sits while holding a tray containing costumes and makeup to be worn during the dance. After the prayer session, the candidate dancer will bow their head and lose consciousness. This is followed by Parapurna. Parapurna is the initiation of the core ritual of the Sintren dance performance led by the Sintren shaman. The unconscious candidate dancer still dressed in everyday clothes, has their hands tied and is placed inside a chicken cage. The costume and makeup equipment are also placed in the Rangap, a chicken cage. The Sintren shaman will move around the Rangap while carrying incense and reciting various mantras. When the incense is placed in front of the Rangap, the Sinden, female vocalist, begins to sing accompanied by the accompanying music. When the chicken cage starts to vibrate, it signifies that the dancer is possessed by ancestral spirits. The cage is then opened, indicating that the dancer has changed into Sintren costume and makeup, signifying that the dancer is ready to perform the Sintren dance. The event continues with Mbalang, or Balangan. Balangan refers to the ritual of throwing money at the dancer. When the dancer is hit by the thrown money, they immediately fall to the ground unconscious as the ancestral spirit exits their body. In this state, the shaman approaches the dancer, touches their face, and recites a mantra. The ancestral spirit re-enters the dancer's body, and the Sintren dance can continue. Those in the audience who successfully throw money are allowed to dance together with the Sintren. At the end of the performance, there is a procession called Temohan. Temohan is a ritual at the end of a Sintren dance performance, where the dancer carries a tray called Nairu 
and goes around the audience to receive voluntary donations, or soren in Indonesian. After the procession is finished, the dancer is put back into the cage along with the everyday clothes they wore before dancing. When the chicken cage starts to vibrate again, it indicates that the spirit that possessed the dancer's body has left and the dancer has returned to their everyday attire. From the above review, it can be concluded that the dance form called Sintren is rooted in the customs of a society that lives with various philosophies towards the creator, fellow human beings, and the surrounding nature. However, it is worthy of appreciation for its beauty and uniqueness. Additionally, the music used as the accompaniment for the Sintren dance is played using various simple musical instruments combined with gamelan, poetic verses, and songs sung by a female singer, or Sinden, along with the incorporation of offerings, which give this culture and tradition its own mystical elements. Therefore, it is hoped that the initiation of preserving the art of Sintren dance by various cultural studios will elevate the Sintren dance as one of Indonesia's art forms with a higher level of appeal. Absolutely extraordinary. Those predecessors truly left an impressive mark. The messages they conveyed hold deep meanings for everyone, not to mention the beautiful verses that carry their own significance. I am also amazed by the magical elements presented, which seem impossible, yet it's this magic that piques our curiosity and makes us consider it a wonder. Preserving a valuable heritage, and upholding the culture passed down from generation to generation is an important point for us. Equally important are the positive aspects contained within that we should embrace. Thank you to all of you who have watched until this moment. Take care of your health and see you again.